more than one billion yeah. people. It's not really yeah. that difficult to be Indian, to be honest. Huh? It's hard to being stay alive in Indonesia, actually being Indian. Kratz, do you want to join mm. the boring agency to be Indian uh, slave? Unpaid intern? <laughs> unpaid. Because you cannot fucking drink cappuccino after 11, that's why. I drink cappuccino after but, 11. But because you are a bad person <laughs> and you should never be allowed in Italy. <laughs> Hello everybody, welcome to another episode of Bule Go Vlog. And in this episode, we have not one guest, but two guests, because by themselves, they're not interesting enough. But here we have two, actually, two comedians that, in my opinion, are probably some of the very best English-speaking comedians in Indonesia. Ooh, cool. There's not that many, to yeah, be honest. Yeah. But uh, they are funny not only in Bahasa Indonesia but also in uh, in English. We have Duto, who is um, is just released his uh, special. My first special. His first special, thirty under pressure on digital download on uh, Chomika. Yes. Chomika. Yes. Uh, you may also have seen him on CNN. Yep. Motherfucking CNN. That's amazing. <laughs> and so he's a very uh talented up-and-coming comedian well no, thank you I, I think you're getting you're not maybe up and coming anymore you know it's like with startups the companies like to say they're startup but it's like you you've been yeah. a company long, for 10 how years how long the up and coming stop mm -hmm. exactly yeah how long exactly. is it two years three years or exactly. what or or if a new comedian uh suddenly get famous mm -hmm. when uh, they're uh, on the game for 10 years is it yeah. still up and coming? Exactly. Mm. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Or, or maybe it's an age thing. Yeah. Oh, mm. okay. So now you're 30, you're not up and coming anymore. Shit, I'm old. <laughs> and, and so we have a, a very successful comedian in Duto. Woo! Special CNN. Thank you. And then we have another comedian who's Indian, I guess. That's uh, <laughs> that's his thing. But yeah. Indian is an yeah. achievement. It know? is. Yeah. 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 Well, not really. There are more than one billion yeah. people. It's not really <laughs> that <laughs> difficult to be Indian, to be honest. Huh? It's hard to being stay alive in Indonesia, actually, being Indian. That's true. And, and of course, his Thank name you. is Sukrash, right? Yeah. No applause for Sukrash? No. Okay. No. <laughs> My team is racist. It's okay. No, no applause. Okay. Applause for Duto? That's a louder applause, you see? So, uh, we already start. But the, the reason why I invited you together is because you, you work together. You have, a, you have a relationship, a working yeah. relationship. Uh, here's the bottom. Yeah. The bottom. Yeah. We had no doubts. Yeah. We had no doubts. <laughs> <laughs> we will get married uh, next year. <laughs> nice. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations. But no, 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 no. Tell, us, tell us about uh, what the boring agency uh, is. Me or you? Uh, you, do, you? Do you want the... Uh, like the cool reason or the real reason? First the cool one, the and cool then one. the real one. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're the cool one. <laughs> Sukras is the cool one in no, Boring Agency. No, no, no. Oh wow, if he's the cool one, I cannot <laughs> imagine the rest. Okay. Yeah, so the cool reason is because uh, Duto likes to do like a content uh, about rebranding. Mm -hmm. um, and so in that content, Duto like uh, to rebrand like an agency or a company logo, and then for the next step, after he rebrand that logo, the next step is he create an actual agency, like a fake agency for the content. And so uh, that is the reason we make Boring Agency, like to move forward from the rebranding content. And now we are like roasting company and we are also talking about everyday uh, problem. Office life. Uh, office life problem. Yep. But this was the cool one or the boring one? This is the I, I think that's the <laughs> real reason. That's not a cool reason. That's that's a real reason. Because <laughs> if this is the cool one, then I don't even want to listen to the other one. <laughs> no, that, that's the cool one. Yeah. That's the cool one. That's the cool <laughs> one. So it, it's, uh, uh, what Sukrat said is right. So yeah. uh, yeah. I, I make a fake agency, yeah. a boring agency, but uh, some people think it's real. Hmm. Some people think... And, and did you get... Customers because they thought it nah, was yes. Yes. No. That's, That's yes. That is one of the real reason because uh, we want to get endorsed and I think this is one of the best way for us to get endorsed mm. maybe. Yeah. Uh, uh, mm. So so uh, basically it starts with fake and then some people DM the, the, the mm. account, the boring agency, and then uh, at first we don't want to do it because we, we don't have the experience to running an agency. Yeah, well, yeah. fake it till you make it, you know? Nah. I yeah. do it. I do fake it. it 
Well, I'm not making it. <laughs> well, I'm not making it. Now you're just faking it. Yeah, faking. I'm just faking it. But yeah, yeah the, uh, people believe it, and yeah. now we have. Uh, well, not anymore, because now it's out. Ah, fuck! <laughs> you can cut this one, right? <laughs> And now we have a, a, a few clients. Nice. Uh, yeah. One of them is the maybe I can say the largest FNB uh, company in Indonesia. Oh wow! Mm. Congrats. But so it's kind of a breaking the fourth wall thing because you mm. uh, make fun of the office life, but companies really hire you to to be in the office life. Yeah. It's yeah. Yeah, I I I resigned from the office, right? I I quit the office and then because of the bore agency, now I have to live like I'm work again at the office. So it's 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 a But to be specific, he work again as the boss. Exactly. Meanwhile, I work at as the employee. So <laughs> it's you're the boss and he's the employee. Uh basically, yes. Yeah, Cuz I want Indian employee. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Cuz uh, I used to work at a startup and all of my boss are Indian. Oh, okay. Yeah, so uh, it's a revenge thing. Yes, it's a revenge thing. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So nice. I asked him, Kratz, do you want to join the boring agency to be <laughs> Indian uh, slave? Unpaid intern. <laughs> unpaid. Indian. And he yeah. wants to do it then. Yeah. Yeah, poor Sucre. And so you guys in your comedy, you, you talk a lot about uh, office life, but you also talk a lot about politics, right? Uh, not in the boring agency. Okay, uh, so that is separate when, yes. when you do with Comisi, right? Yeah, mm. yeah. Uh, for me, I don't want to make, uh, I don't want to put politics in the board agency because, uh, well, then, it's it's an agency. And also it's dangerous because then you could lose some clients. Yes, so uh, if I want to do politics, uh, I want to talk about politics, I do it on my main account. Mm. or yeah. at stand up or anything like that. Yeah, sometimes but we do uh, politic jokes but for the punchline, like for the closing punchline because uh politics is like the trending topics right now and uh, yeah, it is like a catch press like if we say sorry, yeah. it's not because uh, we want to do politic jokes but because it is a catch press that is mainstream in the uh, audience right now. And also mm. because and you guys know it as as well as everyone is you guys are stand up comedians. But mm. but doing Content creator comedy is a completely different thing. Yes, it's actually the opposite because in doing stand up, you wait until the end yep. to have the payout, and when mm. you do content, you need to give the payout immediately. Yes, yes. Because yes. otherwise, people will scroll away. Yep, mm. yep, yep, yep. Uh, it's quite hard at first for yes. me. For me, it's quite hard. At I first. used to hate it at first. Yes, because I was like a purist. I was like, no, I'm a con. I'm not. I'm a stand up comedian. I only want to do stand up. And then I noticed, well, if I do content create, I get more jobs, I get more money, yes, I get more yes, gigs, so maybe yes. I'll do it. Uh, actually, I'm like that too. Uh, yeah. I start uh, making content uh, from 2020, but before that, before that, I used to hate all the content creators. Yeah. Like, what? That's fucking cringe, you. Like, what? What you're doing? And then uh, because of COVID, because of the pandemic, and then I, I don't have any jobs from stand up. Mm. So uh, I stay at home and then uh, I write every day. That's that's awesome. Yeah, but at, uh, when the pandemic starts, I start to think, why do why I have I to writing? write every day? Nah, and then I uh, start yeah. making content and then uh, it goes from there. But, yeah. but for me, it goes both ways. Like for me right now, if you want to become a comedian or if you're not already a super popular comedian, mm. you need to do content creation yeah. like there's yeah. no other way you need to have a social media presence yeah uh, for example and, and not only for uh, f for your following but to attract more followers for example i performed in australia mm -hmm. uh, two years ago uh, this year i just came from uh, south africa the first the business card that you have now as an artist is your instagram page yeah oh so yes. i will reach out to comedy clubs and they were mm. like, okay, who are you? Because of course they don't know me in mm. South Africa, but they would say, oh, this guy has already has a big following, has mm. several viral video. Okay, we will put you on the lineup. Yep. Okay, we will give you the spot. On the other hand though, I hate when people that are only content creators mm. call <laughs> themselves comedians. Yeah. You're not a comedian, yeah, yeah, you're yeah, a content yeah, creator. Yeah, 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 it's yeah. a different yeah, thing. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Uh, you you get famous from content too, right? From yeah, the Indian content? <laughs> not really that famous, but yeah, still I got more followers from putting my content instead of stand up. Like uh, I did the math and 
like I just realized that even if I perform stand up comedy in front of like an offline show for in front of a hundred audience, which is quite rare, but I think it, it will be like amazing if I got five followers that night. But if I put just like a one minute content, I can easily get like five followers. So you only night. think about the followers. <laughs> Like I, I just because yeah, I'm Indian, you're, I think about the statistics. You're, you're, you're that shallow. You're yeah. so shallow. Yeah. yeah, you're a whore. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you're you're a slut. Yep. Yeah, you're an engagement <laughs> slut. <laughs> but but this is the thing though, because um, because also there's another problem in uh, publishing your comedy content, mm. like your stand-up content, mm. Mm. is that you burn it. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Th- that's why, for example, uh, uh, Matt Rife, he Matt became Rife, yeah. famous. Just posting his uh, crowd working, his crowd working, because yeah. he was like, "I'm saving my content for the special." Then his yeah. special sucks. Yes, yeah. <laughs> his, his crowd work is amazing. His, spe- yeah, yeah. His, yeah. his real joke sucks, but that's how you become. For me, the thing is, I do a little bit of both. Mm. Uh, actually, my most viral content is stand up. Mm. Uh, the one I released a few weeks ago about uh, not being uh, sunat. Mm. Uh, oh yeah, got, I saw that. Got seven million yeah. views. Yeah, yeah, but. The thing is that, and this is the thing, if you want to become a content creator, if you want to become Insta famous or whatever you want, it doesn't even matter the quality of your content. Mm. It means to just be consistent. Yeah, and to post just it. Yeah, spam it every day. Yes. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Because you don't don't even know. Like I have some videos that I put my mind into it, and and I write a script, and I'm and they do nothing. Yeah. And then I do something in three seconds, million views, and I'm I'm, I'm so angry all the time. <laughs> <laughs> and it's very heartbreaking when you edit the content uh, for uh, five yes. hours, yes. and then yeah. you you write the script for. Another uh, yeah. two hours, and then you post it, and only get ten views. Yeah. Like what the well, fuck is well, wrong? Well, for you, it's, it's not that bad because you have an Indian guy to do it for you. So it's, yeah, yeah it's that's just, why uh, he do yeah. the editing, the writing, the uploading, everything yeah. he do. The cinematic. He, he goes in his uh, mother's account to like the videos. <laughs> yes, 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 yes. He goes to <laughs> Rampujabi to <laughs> like my posts. <laughs> yeah, because c- I see, I, I don't know, I was like, that's weird. Like in the boring agency, all the content you do is liked by weird Indian accounts. Like, it's, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> <laughs> like, like your main audience is from Calcutta. I was like, what's what's with that? You know, it's weird. You speak Bahasa, they don't even speak Indonesian. What's with that? Yeah. That's the beauty of the Indian. Yes, the, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah. the beauty of India. <laughs> the beauty of overpopulation, actually. <laughs> But but this is the thing. Of course, there's a big difference from uh, content creation comedy and stand-up comedy. What mm. do you think is the because you do successfully both? What do you think is the difference between uh, stand-up comedy in Bahasa Indonesia and stand-up comedy in English? One English. Uh, stand-up comedy in Bahasa Indonesia and in English. Yes. Hmm. Mm. For, for maybe I can start first. Like for yeah. me. Uh, see, see I can tell you're the <laughs> boss because he has permission. If you get. <laughs> 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 Still. Sorry. Yeah, because actually in the boring agency, I'm the one that is still working. So I work in. Uh, currently, I'm still working so in. So because agency. you're here, actually, he's not working at the office. So uh. you're not gonna pay him for today. No. Oh, you don't pay him at no. all. That's I'm right. not paying uh, all time. Okay. No. Mm. Yeah. Uh, so for stand-up comedy in English, because uh, I uh, I do both. Like uh, sometimes mm-hmm. I do in. I go to open mic like I saw you in yeah. Jakarta Pusat open mic. I'm confused. Why are you in this like city cafe? <laughs> I, mean, I, I, actually, <laughs> I actually do it to to learn Bahasa. Oh, okay. Because I mean, yeah, you are the only bully that have step step foot in that cafe. I think ever <laughs> since that cafe is <laughs> being created. Yeah, and so I think the difference is like Indonesia. Uh, like the stereotype is we need to be more angry like in the delivery mm. oh, yeah, yeah, delivery, yeah, we need yeah, to yeah. be more angry yeah, 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 and uh, uh, typically when the material the premise we, it needs it needs to be come from the heart instead of like observational comedy okay i saw it, uh, like generally in indonesia like uh, we do like based on our like real personal stories we like to share our personal story in and, and the delivery is angry meanwhile in english like the stereotype is like You like to do like uh, observation jokes and uh, uh, like the delivery is more calm ah. and more relaxed. And mm. also, so Indonesian people don't really at, at least what, mm. because uh, I do something that is uh, is even different because mm. I perform uh, for Indonesian people but in English. Yeah, yeah. Uh, like Indonesian people are not don't really like or don't really get sarcasm. Most of yeah, 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 that's also this also. Yes, 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 yes. Because uh, the the last time uh, the last time we believe 
one people is yes, we get colonized. <laughs> <laughs> But I think there is like. Like and, a, and that's why when I do comedy, I I'm always the butt of the joke myself. I'm always yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Mm, like mm, my my. Yeah. It's not that I'm being fake. Is the but the character is different on stage because mm. yeah. when I do comedy for uh, stand up comedy for Indonesian people, I am the confused bully that is trying to understand the culture. Yeah. And on one side, you're the immigrant. Yes. Yes. Mm. And on one side, Indonesian people appreciate just like they appreciated in in Cape Town when I when I try to understand the African culture because it's like, oh, this this person comes here and wants to relate to us. Mm. As as uh, opposed if I do just jokes, general jokes, they can laugh, but they cannot relate. Okay. But they also like, they like the outside point of view because of course, for me, there's many people, many things that happen in Indonesia that make no sense at all. Yes. Just yeah. like if you would come to Italy, you would be like, why, for example, in Italy, the If you go to a cafe, you order a cappuccino after 11, they will insult you. Like, and you're why? Because like, you cannot fucking drink cappuccino after 11. That's why. I drink cappuccino after but, 11. But because you are a bad person <laughs> and you should never be allowed in Italy. <laughs> like there are some rules in every country mm. that make sense if you're from that country. Yeah. Mm. But they don't make sense if you're not. For mm. example, Sukarash doesn't use the toilet because he's Indian. Like yeah. it makes sense because <laughs> yeah. he's Indian, yeah. but it doesn't make sense for other things. Mm. And, and I... And when somebody show you a different point of view, they really like it. Yep, yep. So is it easier for a stand-up comedian to be an immigrant to make a jokes? You have to be an outsider, or uh, you're from Italy, right? It, have you done comedy in Italy? Never. Uh, I I have to go next. I, I haven't been in Italy since 2019. Uh, okay. uh. But next time I already have a few gigs planned in Rome and Milan. Oh. It depends. Uh, In a way, it's easier because, mm. for example, the, the video that I did uh, that became very famous is uh, very viral. One of the things that people love is uh, having a bu- hearing a bule screaming contol. Mm. Yeah. And, and just because <laughs> I'm a bule, people lost their mind. Yeah. Yeah. If if you would say, people would be like, why are you screaming contol? Because you're an Indonesian. Yes. Or, for example, my opening, and, and it works like a charm every night. Mm. My opening for an Indonesian crowd, I go on stage, Very quiet, and of course, I look very white. I'm mm. a bully, and I go, "Assalamu alaikum." And yeah, people yeah, yeah, lose yeah, their yeah, 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 yeah. Because, because they don't expect me. They to don't say expect it. bully saying "Assalamu alaikum." <laughs> exactly. Yeah, and so in a way, it's easier. But it, there's more work that goes into the joke because I have to research. I have to ask my Indonesian friend. Okay, so explain this to me. Explain that to me. Mm, mm-hmm. But sometimes it can be a little bit too much. Uh, for example, with Panji, Panji goes in New York, he talks a lot about Indonesia. Mm, yeah. And of course, Panji is a legend and everything, but maybe some American people don't give a fuck about yeah. Indonesia. American people mm. only care about America. Exactly. Yes. Mm. Exactly. So it, it depends. I, I think uh, I'm very lucky to perform in Indonesia because Indonesian people are interested in the opinion of a bullet. Yes. Yeah. Have you ever performed in India? Not yet, but I have performed mm. in from uh, Indian people in Indonesia. Well, yeah. uh, you, you, his family. His yeah, family. yeah, 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 my family. <laughs> Your uncle, my unborn son. <laughs> <laughs> what? What does that so, mean? So, so <laughs> what it feels like to to perform in front of the Indian? Uh, so, um, I think it is like I like that uh, night because that is the first time I can use Indian local jokes. Mm. Like I <laughs> can. <laughs> what is the <laughs> What is the Indian <laughs> local joke? Tell us. Like also, why don't you do this? <laughs> yeah, you're the only Indian I know that doesn't. do Why this, don't right? you dance? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm why a, don't you do well, Bollywood? I'm a why stiff are Indian. you so stiff? <laughs> <laughs> I'm a stiff Indian. Eh? <laughs> yeah. Uh, so yeah, that is the first time like I can do It like. Doesn't even look joke. Indian. He. Yeah. Yes. He's very Indian. I, I, I don't I, know. I, like to me, he doesn't look very I, Indian. People say that I look like a clean Rohingya actually. I have no idea. <laughs> Rohingya, Rohingya <laughs> is a refugee. Ah, refugee, yes. refugee, refugee, refugee. refugee. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. So yeah, that uh, I perform in front of Indian, and yeah, I like that one because that is the first time I can u- use like internal Indian jokes. Like instead of just uh, like making fun of India, I can make fun of specific Indian race. Like for example, in India we have race like Punjabi, Sindhi, and, and Indians I can are make super racist between themselves. Yeah. Like they they hate each other so much. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Even my because own it's family. the caste system or what? Be- yeah, maybe uh, because of that, or maybe because uh, the competition in there, like because they are overpopulated, uh, they are very competitive uh, with each other. Maybe 
or because well, because they don't have a good nutrition in their food also maybe because of that. <laughs> <laughs> what, producer, why did we invite <laughs> the, the Indian guy? <laughs> <laughs> so they, they don't have enough nutrition. Yeah, so maybe they, they because eating, eating dirty food make you Not say dirty so, so words. Answer, <laughs> so the answer to that problem is Royko Rasa Sapi. Yeah, maybe because of that. Maybe Prabu <laughs> program no, about like the like Prabu wants to have uh, like one of our uh, candidates wants to have like a free milk. For children, oh, that's for nice. Indonesian, and this is true story. But not the, for the, Indian. For the milk, uh, you can cross check. I'm also. Yeah, <laughs> this is a fact. No, no, <laughs> no, no this, is, this is a fact. This is a fact. this. The last time I checked, uh, the for the milk, the cows is imported from India. So all the children Indonesian. Whatever he it. says, I take no responsibility. You know, just <laughs> he's he's a he's so a basically he's important agency <laughs> problem. <laughs> basically, he's imported guts from India. You know, who <laughs> who's the Bravo, Bravo. Import oh, guts. Import, 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 gut. import. He import guts because he want to import cows from India. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I'm, I'm not gonna comment. <laughs> I, I don't have. <laughs> Let, let's let's switch gear. Let's ask you about your personal life. Okay. So, uh, do you guys have? A, are you in a relationship? Do you have girlfriends? I have a girlfriend. You look like a fat boy. No, no? I'm I'm the nerd. I, I, okay. I, what I'm doing every day is just playing computer and okay. writing. Uh, some material and, and abusing and abusing in the end uh, yeah. that, that's actually in my top general list. is is your favorite person uh, to abuse? favorite person okay. to abuse no I, i don't hate all indians i hate indians sukrach sukrach okay. yeah. perfect i hate all indians <laughs> <laughs> and what about you did your family already find you a wife? no no i have, I have a girlfriend Oh, you have a girlfriend. Yeah. I mean, that that is only my material because uh, I like to do material about offline Tinder. So sometimes I need to say in the setup that I am single. So yeah, it's just. Do you uh, is it is it the girlfriend? Yeah. Is it the girl Your that girlfriend I hooked you up with? Matt? What hook you up? I oh no 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 not that one. Because actually, I hook him up with a girl. Where? During Suchi. During Suchi. So one <laughs> of the, so one of the makeup artists of Suchi. Uh -huh. Uh, we were talking before one of the show, and and I don't know why we talked about Sukrach because because <laughs> oh. that's my favorite topic. You know, I always I have a picture of Sukrach in my wallet, and I show to people. I say this is my son, and uh, <laughs> and she was like, "This guy is cute." And I was like, "Are you fucking okay? What's wrong with you?" And she was like, "No, no, no, he's cute." Ooh. And and so actually, I I took his, I gave her his number, and she called him, but he didn't work. What, what the, happened? The, the, the yeah, makeup I mean, artist uh, never met Sukrach? No, I don't know. I'm asking. What uh, happened? No, I mean, yeah, because it's just weird. Like, suddenly, uh, you uh, she is chatting with me, and I think at that moment I already have a girlfriend, so I don't like. Uh, well, you don't have a girlfriend at that moment. I know. It's after Suchi, I think I, I got. No, it was during Suchi. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I mean, yeah, I mean, I mean, after after I got close mic in Suchi, so we, so we got close mic in the yeah, together. Yeah, we got close mic together. We we got close mic even I, before one, the Suchi one start. Second, one second, one yeah. second. People are confused. They didn't even participate. Yeah, I mean, yes. that one. They <laughs> didn't even pass the selection yes. of Suchi. <laughs> we and got kicked out from the pre-show. Pre-show, yeah. even not even a show. Yeah, yeah. pre-show. Yeah, so yeah, after that and, time. And I remember actually. Um, Sukash was super confident because mm. we went in the hotel on the brief show. We were all together, and I was like, "What are you gonna <laughs> talk about?" And I was like, "Chris, do you know who's one of the uh, judges of uh, Suji?" I was like, "Yeah, Raditelik." I opened for Raditelik. No, no, no I, I didn't say <laughs> that, 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 that. Let me talk. I was like, I opened for like it was like, uh, like he's my buddy, you know. We're we're besties. Now. I opened for the judges. Yeah, I opened, I for, opened for and and I was like. Okay, and and I'm gonna do a set about it, and he's gonna kill. I was like, okay, eliminate it. That's uh, that's what happened. Yeah. And and also the, the the thing is that you never opened again for him. I never so, opened again. Yeah. <laughs> so you were so good that it was like never again. Never again. <laughs> yeah. So tell us, tell us about Reddit. What? Uh, what? What do you want me to tell? I don't know. You don't. The uh, Reddit darkest secret. That is darkest secret. I don't. I'm not that close. I mean, I'm only because that's what he says. Radit, if you're watching, because of course Radit is is a fan uh, of our 
Uh, Sukha says around that he's your best friend, basically. That's uh, that's for this. Mm. That's just like I I don't even know that and, and Bule also, can speak hoax, you know, right? <laughs> Bule can do framing like this. I don't know. No, yeah. That's what we do. That's what Bule do. Yeah. We do framing all the time. That's our thing. That's why we get colonized mm. for 350 years. Yes. 350 years. Yes. You this are starting. This is one I don't. One thing I don't understand about Indonesia. What? That it's so weird. And, and I have the same example in South Africa, because mm. of course in South Africa they were also colonized by the Dutch and the English. Oh, yes, yes. And actually this is so cool. Uh, I didn't know, when, when I was in Cape Town, uh, my wife brought me to the Slave Museum in Cape Town. Slave Museum? Yes. The There's a museum for slave? Yeah, mm. like to, to remember. And it was full of Indonesian artifacts. Because <laughs> actually, yeah. Because, yes. No, 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 I'm not even joking. Because actually, they were br the Dutch were bringing people from Malaysia and Indonesia to South oh. Africa to become slaves. Oh. And, and actually, and one of the things, so they have like artifacts from Bali and from Java and from, and, and there is this column with all the names of the slave that came. Because when you would arrive, they would delete your last name because you were just a a slave. Yes. And so they their last name were Van for because they were from the Dutch. Huh? And then Van Batavia, Van Bali, oh. Van Makassar, oh. Van Sulawesi. Oh. Oh. I had no idea. But this is the thing that is weird for me. Like and maybe because in in South Africa was more recent because apartheid was yesterday. Yes. But like there's a lot of resentment from because my my wife is is black she's a zulu mm. there's a lot of resentment from the the black and the colored that the, there's three races in south africa there's white mm. there's black and there's colored which are the the third fourth generation indonesian and malaysian that moved to uh, so basically it's uh, asian yeah but asian but like not chinese asian or not mm. indian it's like southeast asian indonesian asian yeah Ooh. I, I, okay, okay, okay. And, okay. and during apartheid, they were actually better because, like, there were the whites, there were the colored, and then there were the black. Okay. So they were treated better than the black people. But but the black people and the colored people have a lot of resentment against England and against um, Netherlands. Here in Indonesia, the thing that I, I don't understand, because in Bali, of course, there's a lot of bullet. Yeah. Like, I see Indonesia, where are you from? Holland. Oh, that's amazing. That is so cool. What do you mean it's so cool? You were colonized. Why are you happy? Because Indonesian people treat all white peoples like he's an Hollywood actor. Yeah, mm. that's you're too nice. Yeah. Yeah. No, no. We know uh, we are nice because we know that you are rich. Which is not true. Which is not true. But we, we don't care about that. Because in Bali, especially in Bali, there's many people that live in Bali because it's cheaper to live in Bali than to mm. live in their country. Yes, yes. <laughs> You're doing that? Not anymore. <laughs> no, no. I'm, I'm almost able to afford a, an Indian guy working for me. I'm, I'm, I'm Actually, I'm here because I want to steal sucrush from you. <laughs> no way. I think, I think that's the sign of your being a rich bully because you moved into Jakarta. That's where the rich bully is here. Yeah, fair, fair. Well, I moved to Jakarta to have more opportunity. But now, uh, as always, uh, my producer that now she's angry, she's pointing at the screen mm -hmm. very aggressively. Uh, she wants us to read some news and react to it. Okay, okay. so let's okay. Okay, so because you, you guys talk about a lot about office life and because oh. Sukrach has been unemployed yeah, most of his life, <laughs> uh, what do you think about this news? Banten uh, is the province with the highest unemployment rate in, in, in Indonesia. Why okay. do you think that? Because Banten uh, is, a, is a dynasty, dynasty ruled by Ratuatut. Yeah, you know. Okay. I have no idea. No, uh, basically it's, it's a government. It's a gov uh, mm. governed by a family. Mm. So governed by a family, uh, all his. Which, uh, which which family is this? Ratuatut. Okay, because there's another government that are rule. Who? In, uh, family dynasty. Who? Another family. Uh, Gibran, <laughs> Prabowo, Jokowi. Maybe. Jokowi and the dynasty. Oh. <laughs> so, Jokowi <laughs> never watched <laughs> this. Okay. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> There are ten <laughs> provinces that have unemployment rate above the national average. While okay. 24 other provinces are below the average, Banten remain the province with the highest open. Okay, but it's seven uh, percent, seven and a half percent is not that high. Mm? Like mm. in Europe, uh, that, that would be great numbers to have uh, only seven and a half percent unemployment rate. Yeah, and we love unemployment because they yeah. they they're poor. 
They but, don't have any decision, and then we we can uh, use them to work for free. But mm. if you're unemployed in Indonesia, does the 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 country, the state, pay you to stay home? No. Oh, no. Okay. Uh, what, the country doesn't give a fuck about people. <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> That's why the unemployment is low. Because in Italy, if you're unemployed, they yeah. just pay you to stay home. Mm. How much? Not much, but you can survive. Five hundred. No, dollars? like. 800 I think 800 dollar yeah no per euro which is more than dollars 800 euro per month yeah that's higher than my salary actually <laughs> well you have no salary so <laughs> every salary is higher than your salary <laughs> he, he gets paid in samosa <laughs> so so now you're moving to Italy okay. to, yeah. to to become unemployed that that's your new Yeah, my first goal is to become part of the Godfather, and maybe the second goal is to. <laughs> But you know, you know what they do in uh, what they do in Italy. In Italy, they uh, because Italy has the opposite problem of Indonesia. Is Italy, I think, is the first one is Korea, then Japan, that Italy are disappearing the population. Oh yeah, because we have more dead people than people that are born. Born, yes. Mm. And so in Italy, especially, uh, there are some cities in the center, uh, like up the mountains, that are disappearing. Why? Mm. Because there's only old people, the young people move away, and so the the city completely <laughs> disappear. And so in Italy, in many small towns, they sell you houses for one euro. Mm. So so there there's a the city in Italy that disappear because all the old people there die. die at the same time. No no no, not at the same time. But like for example, uh, the average age in that city, which has 200 people, not city town, like okay, village, uh, uh. 200 people, is 70 year old. So within Within 15 years, there's not going to be anyone left, and it's not like they're going to make new kids. Yes, yes. So, so the the city council sell the houses for one euro. One euro, you get a house. Yes, but you have to promise that you're going to move there to live at least six months a year, uh -huh. and you have to to renew the house because, of course, it's old and decrepit. But you can buy houses in Italy for one euro. Yeah. Uh, can can Indonesian people buy? I think Or so. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's open to everybody. Wow, what? Let's buy so, a house from uh, Italy. So Indo <laughs> Indonesian people can. I don't know if Sukraj can. Maybe <laughs> <laughs> you have one dollar. I mean, so even this mic is more expensive than the yeah. Italian house. <laughs> this headset, <laughs> but, I can just trade this headset. <laughs> but of course, <laughs> those, those, those are not houses that you're going to be able to rent, for example, because nobody lives there. They they do that to repopulate. The, mm. the small villages. But we can take our family to vacation, right? Yeah, of course. Oh, okay, of course, okay, absolutely. Okay. Wow. Yeah. And actually, I, I I went to visit one time in my life Greenland. Mm. So Greenland is actually under uh, Denmark. Yeah. Mm. And they pay you to live there. Mm. Because it's, it's so shit, there's nothing. It's so cold, nobody wants to live there. They just to live there, they give you a salary. Mm. So y you get paid just because you live? Yeah. Wow, <laughs> that's that's my dream, <laughs> man. That's my dream. <laughs> no, all Indonesia are gonna move to. <laughs> I think Indonesian are Italian by heart, you know, because <laughs> the unemployment. We just like to stay home. <laughs> and and the other news, the Apple Vision Pro. Oh, this, this is a cool one, Apple Vision Pro. Oh, okay, okay. Okay, we have. Oh. A video. Ooh. What she's doing? But didn't Google try to do the same with the Google Glasses years yeah, ago? Uh, and they, they make MetaQuest. Uh, it's they, Facebook. Eh? They Facebook. Facebook. No, 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 no. Google has to used to have the Google Glass like five, ten years ago. But it looks stupid. Well, this is looking even more stupid. <laughs> <laughs> like that, that, this doesn't look stupid But to you. But this is this looks stupid and expensive because this is from Apple. Yeah. Yes. The the one thing that uh, the video that I saw that was really cool wasn't this one. Was the guy that took a shit with the the <laughs> Apple Vision Pro and he started looking at uh, a, 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 like if he was in a mountain because he put uh, a filter. Yeah. Yes. 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 Mm -hmm. And, and I think the first thing that people, when they buy the Apple Vision Pro, I think the first thing they do is watch porn. Yeah. Of course. Yes. Yeah, of course. They, they like to watch porn in virtual reality. Hmm. Like it's hmm. more real. Hmm. And I, I'm going to do it too if I have the money. <laughs> do you have the money? To watch porn. Yes. Yeah. No, I don't, yeah. I don't need <laughs> Apple Vision Pro to watch porn. <laughs> <laughs> I can do it in my computer. I want to buy this, but I'm thinking about buying a house in Italy first. 
<laughs> no, but one of the things that uh, is going to be really helpful is actually for uh, for traveling, because you can have subtitle in real uh, real oh, time uh, when okay. people talk to you. <laughs> yeah, but when people talk, I need to put the glasses. Yeah. Yeah, true. <laughs> but I, I mean, if everyone starts wearing them, uh, okay. no. What was it? Ray Ban actually did. Uh, also the some yeah yeah they, they collab with glass? facebook yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. so they, they put the the the, uh, the meta chip, quest yeah. chip yes. on the ray-ban and it is actually cool yeah, yeah. Hmm. that's cool and you both uh, wear glasses you both are nerds yeah yeah so yeah that's the, the apple vision pro yeah the problem is that the apple vision pro is gonna be super expensive though yeah. Three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. Three thousand dollars. You can buy three thousand <laughs> Italian houses. Yeah, you can buy three thousand <laughs> Italian house. You can become a real estate yeah. mogul. Yeah. You can buy the whole village. Yes. Yeah. You can have a village <laughs> or Apple Vision Pro. You choose. You can fuck Martin Scorsese. <laughs> <laughs> And also with the with Sukar's salary to buy the Apple Vision Pro is gonna so it's three thousand so it's gonna take no but, but five thousand month yeah. to afford to buy no the Apple. five thousand five thousand reincarnation <laughs> <laughs> maybe in the next life maybe. <laughs> maybe in the next life you know what you should do actually some companies in in Italy do it I love it when you have uh, like a, a, a stage there um, a stage a, a stage. Stage, stage, stage as a stage, stage. No, as a, you, you work for free. How do you call it in, in yeah. English? No, uh, for, for you work for free. Like when when you out of university and you go to a company and they don't pay. Internship, internship. Oh, internship. internship. Oh yeah, yeah. When, when you have an internship, some companies in Italy charge you money. Mm. Huh? Charge you money to pay for them. Oh, huh? okay. okay. That's slavery. It is. It <laughs> That's slavery. Work. Slaves work for free. I think that, that is not. Yeah. Slave work for free, <laughs> yeah. and states work for what? I think you should do that. With I think that it, that, <laughs> because then he has the the pleasure and he has the opportunity and he has the privilege yeah. to work at the boring agency. You know how many people would love nah, to work at the yeah. boring agency. I think ungrateful little Indian. It's I think I, I think that is <laughs> why is this <laughs> so racist? This podcast today. We don't we don't hate Indians. It's just Sukash. Like it's it's okay. It's okay. Yeah, I think that is not slavery, but that is a good idea actually. To, Start doing so maybe. you should start that. Yeah. That way, the boring agency uh, start making money. You just have people that work for you, and you yes, charge them. We got a new revenue stream. Exactly. For the, people the who first <laughs> revenue, <laughs> the first revenue stream for yeah. people who wants to work at the boring agency. Nice, good idea, good business yeah. model. So with that said, <laughs> I actually have something that I need to promote, mm. and uh, Sukash and uh, Dutu are gonna be yeah. part of it. I I don't even know if is if this is gonna be online by that time, but the 29th of February in the in the new in a, in a new bar super cool bar called 1920 inside the hotel Grand Kamang we're going to have a comedy show yep um Sukaraj well Duto is going to perform he's a great performer I'm going to perform Sukaraj is probably uh, going to serve drinks or something <laughs> he's going to do emotional support yeah. uh, <laughs> you're going to dance going to dance he's going <laughs> to he's going to do a Bollywood dance <laughs> so the 29th of February uh Come check out 1920s is this amer amazing uh, bar is, which is set in the 1920s. So it's very cool. It's very, it's very yeah. fancy. It's very fancy. It's fancy, fancy. If you get dressed like this, you're not going to even get in. <laughs> but uh, with that said, thank you very much to Duto. Yes, thank uh, you, thank A you. little bit less to Sukaraj. Uh, next time, Duto, <laughs> we just do it, me and you. Okay. Um, with that said, I'm, I'm joking. Sukaraj is... He is a very good comedian. Uh, you, you, you should see when because uh, it's easy to laugh to uh, about him, you know. It's, it's true, but you you should see uh, when he he perform at Tomikaze. Yeah, Tomikaze. What? Yeah. <laughs> That's it, very good. Yeah. That's very good. I mean, you didn't even watch. I mean, <laughs> <laughs> exactly. You said you should see because I'm not going to see that. <laughs> But with that I'm said, trying to help thank you, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. With that <laughs> said, the 29th of February <laughs> come to 1920. Uh, go on chomika.id and buy the digital download of 30 Under Pressure. Yep. And yep. Uh, Suka, do you need to sell anything? Uh, boring agency. Gimana yang ngomongnya is, but I also have like... Okay, not important. Gimana yang <laughs> With that said, <laughs> thank you for like, subscribe, comment, write in the comment, tell us why you hate Sukrash, tell us why you like Duto, uh, and tell us also who else do you want on this podcast. Thank you very much. You guys are amazing. Dutu is amazing. Thank you. And that's it. Thank you. <laughs>